Hey, welcome back to the Altitude LED YouTube channel. In this video, I wanna walk you through this new Altitude LED screen we installed here at Island Community Church in Isla Mirada, Florida. This video wall is about 21 feet wide by 11 and a half feet tall. The pixel pitch is 2.97 millimeters, which is just fine enough for those folks who are in the front row, they don't see the pixels. It is super high resolution. The resolution of this screen is 3,072 pixels wide by 1,344 pixels tall. So it's almost a full 4K resolution. We are actually sending that exact pixel count from the machine running our computer graphics in ProPresenter content to the Novastar processor and that's why we have such a high definition video playback or image playback on this screen. The panels are the cloud panels by Altitude so you can see how thin they are and with this install we chose to go the route of flying the LED screen. It's going to give the client more flexibility if they want to move the screen either up or down later on because what's nice about this screen and its size is it can be an elevated center screen like you see here where the content is just gonna be above the presenter's head while they're on stage. Or if they wanted to have more of a backdrop feel to it, it could come down to the ground level and be more of a, still be flown, but it could just be, have the bottom of it right above the floor. And it'll feel more like a set piece on stage and they could do some cool stuff with the background. So doing a flown install in this scenario just gave them more flexibility. When you wall mount them, like you could have wall mounted this, it's just, there's gonna be more work uh, to be able to, to move it. And you know, when you move the backing of it, you're gonna have that backing on the wall here. So they wanted to keep it nice and clean drywall. Really, really pleased with the final results of this screen. It is super bright, super large. They're able to play back simulcasts in this space or other video content for the congregation. And it just like looks incredible from out in the audience. The video system that we're using here is an ATEM Constellation by Blackmagic. Uh, and then we're also using the Novastar VX1000. So the Novastar VX1000 is receiving that HDMI video signal from the Mac Mini that's running ProPresenter that gets that almost 4K resolution video into the processor. From there, we have a few data lines that then come to the video wall to send the video signal to all the panels that you see here. When we do the install, our technician is gonna make sure that all the panels are configured properly in that processor. So all you need to do is feed it that HD or 4K signal, and then it's gonna show up looking great on your screen. We also have a SDI video feed going into the processor from our Constellation video switcher that can then throw a camera feed up here for an iMag effect or eye magnification. So if they want to zoom into something on stage and blow it up for the whole congregation to see better, we can send video content in real time to the screen and it looks incredible. They're using the PTZ optics cameras that Churchfront installed here at the church. I do want to say one key to having a great results with your LED screen in a church like this, especially a large bright screen, is make sure you have adequate front lights at your church. So we have Pro Church lights, Pro Wash Plus lights up here. And what that does is as a subject on stage, it adequately illuminates me. So then the cameras have enough light on me and then also the brightness of the screen, it's nice and balanced. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about an LED screen upgrade do you have adequate lighting set up for your church? And if not, it's definitely worth reaching out to the team at Pro Church Lights to hook you up with these fixtures that we have here. So here we have Pro Presenter 7. We're able to present our lyrics. And of course, they show up really nice and bright with great contrast on the screen. We can change to different backgrounds very easily. I really like all the content that's available with Pro Content that comes with Pro Presenter. Looks really great here on the LED screen. And again, a key with LED screen technology is you have such a high contrast. The, the dark parts of the image are nice and black. The bright parts are nice and bright. So that really brings out the, the, the work that the artist put into this content on the screen here. Or if you have other slides that have smaller text and content on them, looks great on the screen because of the high resolution. 
In this particular case, because it is a custom size screen, it's not a true 16 by nine, because uh, just the way they wanted the size of the screen to, to look on the stage, we went with this unique aspect ratio. That's when you're gonna wanna go into ProPresenter and you're gonna configure screens to be the right resolution. So here you can see the resolution of the screen on ProPresenter is 3072 by 1344. And then whenever we put content here into ProPresenter, it can automatically resize the size of the content for the screen output. And of course, it's a good idea to make your content, whether it's in Canva or Photoshop, tell your graphic design artist what is that actual canvas size, and then it'll transition to ProPresenter nicely uh, without distorting the image. ProPresenter does have cool features where you can just scale up an image uh, or scale it down without actually stretching it, um, and that'll look good as well. But a few pro tips there considering the resolution of your content and working within ProPresenter. That's all we have for you today's video. I hope you picked up a few tips. If your church is looking to install an LED screen like this one, don't hesitate to ask a question down below in the comments, we'll get back to you or reach out to us at altitudeled.com to start your project today. Thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.